I'm Robert Osborne, and welcome. Our last film, this week's Essential Metropolis, was directed by the great Austrian filmmaker Fritz Lang, who began his film career in Germany during the silent screen era. Well, our next two films on this January Saturday are also directed by Lang, but they're ones he made after he fled to Hollywood in the mid-1930s to escape the wrath of the Nazis in Europe. And he stayed in Hollywood some 20 years, turning out a number of really good crime dramas and thrillers, even three westerns all of them with the unmistakable Fritz Lang touches, including our next movie. It's called Ministry of Fear. It's from 1944, based on a suspense novel by Graham Greene, about a man played by Ray Milland, who upon release from a mental institution, soon finds himself caught up in a web of intrigue involving Nazi spies, sinister seances, and of all things, a cake that everybody wants to get their hands on. It's a story Lang had wanted to adapt into a film for many years, and those years gave him time to envision exactly how we would translate each and every detail from Graham Greene's book to the screen. He was sorely disappointed, though, when he found out he wouldn't be able to buy the film rights. Paramount Pictures had beat him to the punch. That's the bad news. The good news was Paramount asked him to direct the movie version for them. Then there was more bad news. He didn't get to write the screenplay which was done by Seton I. Miller, and that created tension because Miller and Lang had very different ideas as to how the story should unfold on screen. And Miller won most of the arguments because he won fact. He was also the producer of the movie, so he had the final word. But here's the finished film, which pretty much was dismissed when it came out in 1944, but now is very highly regarded. We bring you Ray Milan, joined by Marjorie Reynolds, also Dan Durier, and Hilary Brooke. Ministry of Fear. <laughs> 